And let's check in with our Real Investment News Desk as the markets are getting opened up this morning. And uh, right now, it's, it's the Dow is going to try to make an attempt for 23,000, another milestone. Um, but uh, this morning, we're trading a little bit lower as the markets are getting opened. Uh, the employment, the uh, capacity utilization numbers came out this morning. Capacity utilization coming in at 76%, weaker than expected. But that was a little bit stronger than last month's uh, 75.8 reading. Capacity utilization has been falling. That is 75 or 76 percent of what we could produce so in other words we're only producing about three quarters of our capacity within our production now that was expected to be a lot stronger because of hurricane and what was happening with the hurricanes harvey nate irma and of course the wildfires out in california all this devastation was looking to push a bit stronger industrial production, but that only rose by 0.3%, uh, still kind of a very weak pickup in industrial production, which is what you would expect after all this devastation. We should have seen a stronger flow through. Uh, that's weighing a little bit on stocks this morning, but um, let me throw it to you. Um, what are you seeing this morning? Yeah, well, uh, let's talk about right now the S&P 500 is opening up at around four and a half point, up four and a half points. NASDAQ is down five. Gold right now is down $15 to $12.87 an ounce. Oil is up about five cents to $52.19 a barrel. The dollar is stronger than the yen, trading up at around 112. The 10 year treasury is up three bips to 2.31. And I wanted to go over for those of you that missed yesterday, some of the earning reports that came out. Netflix shares were higher in pre-market trade today and are on track for another record. This is after the company released its third quarter earnings that largely beat forecasts. The streaming service reported higher than expected growth in subscribers for the third quarter and it beat forecasts on revenue. But it did lag in profit due to the fact that the company spends heavily on producing and owning its own shows. Overall, the stocks rose 2.4% ahead of the bell Tuesday, opening at close to 207.49 a share, which beats its record of 202.82 set on Monday. Goldman Sachs also posted positive earnings yesterday that beat expectations. Shares were higher in pre-market trading. The bank reported earnings of 502 per share versus the expected 417 by Thomas Reuters and a revenue of 8.33 billion versus 7.54 billion expected. However, its bond trading unit reported a 26% revenue decline. So we'll see how that affects everything today. Also, some more earnings coming out. We'll have that later in our uh, mid-morning market report. And of course, at the close, to give you the updates on that. Uh, but back to you, Lance. Uh, thank you. you know, Netflix is an interesting story because, again, every I have a Netflix account that mm -hmm. we very rarely ever use, and we spend more time. Do you have a uh, Jackie? Do you have Netflix? Yes, my yeah, do. your sons do. Mm -hmm. So your sons have it? Well, it's interesting because you'll spend about 45 minutes to an hour just scrolling through all the old stuff that's on there, trying to find something to watch. But it is good because Netflix gives an actual avenue to all these uh, B, you know, these B structured and C structured movies like uh, the the uh, the, the uh, Amazon women from the Planet Avocado <laughs> is actually getting a, a nice rerun. Galaxina uh, getting a nice rerun right. for for newer audiences. But it's interesting they're they're talking about spending. Six billion this year and seven to eight billion next year on new programming. The company's revenue, in other words, what they actually earned at the top line of what people are actually spending, was only two point eight billion. So where are you going to get the extra four billion a year to spend on new programming when you're only making two point eight? Right? Yeah, and then the other thing was uh, Disney announced that they were going to be pulling their stuff from there too. And I always thought that Netflix was a really good outlet for kids because they had a lot of the Disney movies on there, which you can't find Dora, anywhere else. The yeah. exp and, and of course, Scarlett's got, is expecting so oh, very soon. She's she's, she's oh, gonna how she's cute gonna. Is that? And <laughs> look, I I have four kids, and the reason I have Netflix today is only because there I bought go. it because they had Door the Explorer. Mm -hmm. And what kids do is that if you want to rent a movie, say you want to rent uh, Frozen on Comcast, well, it's you know two bucks, three bucks, exactly. whatever it is to rent it. Okay, well, my daughter wants to watch the show over and over and over. And like my daughter would watch the same movie like fifty-seven times. A so, lot of kids do. Yeah, <laughs> so you know it was cheaper to pay the seven bucks a month, and then you could she could watch Door the Explorer till her eyes I fell out, it, right? Yeah. Um, but now they're they're past that. You know what they watch now? What? YouTube. Everything YouTube. they everything they watch is now on YouTube, and they basically and and they 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 stream it through uh, um, 
through their phone to the television and they they watch YouTube videos. Well, you know what I wish? I hope that they come out with more of the one shows like True Detective because I think Netflix for me is mostly when they come out with those. And I think you were the one, Lance, who told me about a show with uh, Jessica Biel that we got obsessed with. But it's one of those ones where you can watch all 12 episodes uh, at once and then it's over the season's over you don't have to watch another <laughs> season three four five six and seven exactly she binge watched it all in one weekend i did it was <laughs> a lot so of people do that's bad. what they do at netflix yeah, yeah. my son so, does it netflix looks and at chill. stuff on, through amazon i don't know what he's looking at but yeah well no uh, amazon Amazon's prime too, yeah. Yeah, yeah amazon prime that's they, what he they does. stream mm-hmm. but th- that's the interesting thing also too is that uh, disney uh, cbs has now got, got their cbs all access and they're now running a new series of star trek uh, on CBS All Access, but all these major companies are now starting. There's a very low barrier of entry for Netflix in terms of starting your own streaming service. And all these companies that already have content, it'll be interesting to watch as more and pe- more and more people are cutting the cord to actual traditional cable companies. Mm-hmm. That we're going to see more of these streaming, you know, access platforms come up, which is going to start eroding and eating into Netflix's, um, you know, kind of agenda. But what's in- more interesting to this is while you watch Netflix, uh, um, Scar and and your sons do my kids again they don't watch netflix they don't use facebook there's a demographic time bomb this generation that's coming up the things that we're all looking at is like oh this is really cool they're already past it they are they are down the road and they are into the next generation of technology well, they got off facebook when we got on facebook yep. i mean uh, my sons don't they're on snapchat now yeah. i got to figure out how to use that facebook's for old people that's yeah. what my son will tell you that's what my son's telling like me. only only old people I use don't facebook use much anymore that's See, there you go See, that's there you go because yeah. you're old so <laughs> <laughs> if you're if you're over the age of 15 you're now considered old oh, so, so there you go all right uh, let's get back to work here thanks carly <laughs> 